So, uh, yeah, that RG I was talking about a couple videos ago finally hit me, and I finally got exactly what I wanted. But it didn't really go too well. And now I have this instead. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty nice, I suppose. How did I get 2.1 million quartz or whatever that number was? And like 14 double chests of obsidian and stuff, you know? Well, it's very, very simple. This happened. For three months of tirelessly grinding in the crypts, hitting Rev 9, dropping beheaded horrors, scythe blades, and everything else, I finally, finally got it. Look at it. It's beautiful. It's absolutely perfect. I finally have a warded heart. I got it remarkably fast, actually. Most people get it at around 3 million XP. I got it at around 1, so I'm actually one of the luckier ones, despite how annoying it was to truly get. But at least I finally have it, which means I can finally craft the warden helmet and multiply my damage by 160%. Not only did I drop that, but I also dropped a scathe of it. I mean, it's just, the money is pouring in. But, oh my god, I am absolutely rolling in money right now. 77 million coins. I'm, like, richer than the fraction or something. Jeez. But that is enough to afford all the materials to craft the warden helmet, including the heart right here. So, uh... Just quickly... Hand myself over 128, 66 million coins. This is gonna hurt a tad, but, uh... It'll be worth it. And of course, revived heart. And then I need one more. Two revived hearts. We collect them both. And now I open the crafting grid. I place in the warden heart that took me so long to get. Two stacks of iron blocks that cost almost as much as the, as the heart and I got in like four seconds. Two revived hearts that also don't really mean too much, and now, boom, the warden helmet. Look at it. It's beautiful. And also Carpet G20. Let's go. <laughs> Finally, I have it. Look at it. Look at it. It's perfect. Now I can stab with 160% more efficiency. Well, this is certainly a nice shot. Probably gonna be the thumbnail or something. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? And now we get to test out how good it is in the crypts. Although there is no point in me doing revs anymore, I am still going to do some just to test out exactly how much I can ruin their existence. 42k with the throw, pretty good. And the first real damage test. Ba -da 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 -da. Yeah, I mean. That's acceptable. Yeah, there's a little bit of a difference there. What was that? 496k? I, I, and yeah, yeah. This, yeah, this is a pretty good helmet, honestly. I think it was a, definitely a wise investment. It wasn't really an investment because I'm not getting any money back from this thing ever. But, well, you know. We just get to see exactly how fast I can mince a tier 5 now. And then we can go test it out on some other things. Okay, so let me just do it, some kills and let's do this. Ah, uh, I don't actually even need to crouch anymore, do I? I can just throw my axe and stab. This person is definitely helping. Ah, uh, look at him go. I used to die to these things every other boss. I would never ever stand a chance, and now... And now who's the one dying? I mean, you're already a zombie, I suppose, but now you're really dead. And it still took me 30 seconds, but even so, it is dead. So I was looking for a cool place to record this part of the video, and I thought, well, where better than next to my good buddy old pal, Arch? Yep, we're back up here again. The Kucha Fanatics are always hunting me down to convince me to join their cult, but I'm just gonna say no every single time. But either way, I can't deny the view up here, so, uh, anyways. Next thing I would like to test out with this glorious new helmet is Blaze Slayer. Before, when I tried to do Blaze Slayer in my last video, uh, I died. Because I didn't have, uh, true defense, because I'm bad. However, uh, the Scape the Pet did allow me to get a full set of Sorrow Armor, but I would like to see if I can do it without Sorrow Armor, and just out-damage it using my Warden Helmet here, so... I guess I'm gonna go try it out now, we'll see what happens. Right here we are, and let's see my damage to blazes. 
it looks like 200k it used to be like 90k so it's like 230 i think without uh triple strike so yeah that is absolutely an mega improvement and the 100 attack speed is certainly nothing to scoff at so uh yeah this is a worthwhile investment for sure this is the blaze slaying setup that shall decree me to victory it's just a bunch of various shades of gray and white with the occasional black spot i suppose and it is what i shall wear to beat the tier to inferno demon lord in three two one the blaze slayer drip it will propel me to victory ha ha demon split let's go Actually, I think I'm not going to change my armor while well, uh, Quasi is just attacking me. Probably not a good idea. Um, well, I paid 135 million coins for this. This isn't the most expensive item I own. This is supposed to protect me. So after playing around with this thing for a little bit, I mean, the only two uses I would have ever thought would be actually worth having for it would probably be doing revs and blazes, because, I mean, what else am I going to use a Warden Helmet specifically for? Because although Endermen are important, Final Destination set bonus does definitely beat Warden Helmet because of its defensive capabilities. Which does lead me to believe exactly why did I purchase this. I mean... Sure, it's great, and it's useful for doing Blaze Slayer, but, like, I can't even do Blaze Slayer in full Sorrow armor. Or with the drop that Wisp Pet, and a Mana Flux. So... Was it the right decision? I'm not sure. I mean, sure, it looks awesome. I mean, this this is some drip right here, obviously. But I'm not entirely sure if it was worth the 135 million coins that I paid for it. You know what we do? The things that I'm disappointed in. Warden Helmet. It's been real. It's been fun. But as they like to say, you're worth more to me as 36 mil 136 million coins. Hold on, you guys thought I just let him keep it? No, I didn't. He just happened to have a little bit more money than me and was able to create an auction, so I let him create the auction and give the money to me. And let's just say, I got paid. Well, the weather was quite appropriate for this summer moment, because I have spent incredibly long trying to get that thing. I say, I've been saying three months, it's probably more like four or five, but, I mean, sadly, not everything is good. And it definitely didn't disappoint in its capabilities, it's just the fact that there's not really much of a reason for me to use it when I could just use 130 million coins for other things. So, it's gone now. And all that remains is the 129 mil. So let's get the weather node down. Right click it. Set the weather to sunny. The time should be becoming day. And the sun rises on a new day. A day where there is no warden helmet. No need for the warden helmet. However, there is a different appliance that I'm interested in purchasing. And that is the Adam Split. Now the plan was a So the plan was of course to gather the materials to craft the thing over, you know, the course of the videos in the background, you know, blah blah blah. I you can see the void links up there, the quartz and obsidian minions were down over by the minion pavilion. And that was gonna be the way I was planning on doing it, but when RNG strikes you, you don't just let it pass by. And I've been waiting for this Adam's with Katana for a very, very long time. I've been hoping for it. And, you know, sure, the obsidian and mithril and stuff I've gathered is pretty cool. Except for the fact that I could just buy it now. I can afford it. The quartz is only like 30 million coins. It'd take me down to 90 mil. And that's fine. That's plenty of stuff for me to use. And so I hopefully can start doing Enderman Slayer again. Because although the Judgment Core would still be nice, I could probably sell it and buy like a, you know, giant sword or an ender dragon or something who knows but regardless it is definitely more useful than that warded helmet will be that's for sure so spending time there certainly is one bright side to all this i won't have to fill up all these chests with quartz that was going to take me like a literal irl century to do and i had to do it two times so now i can just type in a funny little command 
And I can go over to here, enchanted quartz blocks, and I needed, what, two stacks, I believe? So let's just see the exact price. 39 million coins, not even that bad. Hopefully it won't be as much of a disappointment as the Warden Helmet was, because uh, the Vorpal Katana is soulbound, which, uh, you know, uh, may prove to be a mild issue. But it shall be done in three, two, one. Boop. Of course, the next things I must buy are the Mithril, Obsidian, and Null Spheres. So, right to it, I suppose. I've already got some Obsidian, but, uh, I need a little bit more than this. Put the Quartz in there, I suppose. And here are my Null Spheres. And I guess we got crafting. So now, I take my Vorpal, that has served me incredibly well these past long times and i give it the upgrade it deserves make it the adam split katana bam i did record myself testing it out for the first time you can see the clip right here so just do a regular enderman yeah that's looking more like my damage before the Enderman Slayer nerf, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know about I don't know about that twelve percent. I don't know about that twelve percent. Ah, so yeah, it didn't really go too well, now did it? So I tried to gather some more materials. I actually got a pig man sword for quite a while. Uh, that didn't go too well. And I bought a fire veil wand. Mm mm, no no. And then I considered getting an endstone sword, but then I kind of thought to myself. Well, my issue is very clearly health and defense, so I decided to switch my accessory bag reforge. Uh, I'm slender now, apparently. So yeah, I'm supposed to look like an enderman now? Is this better? Does this meet your standards, Hypixel gods or whatever? Uh, yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Besides, the wardens can look better. So yeah, I had a pigman sword, I had a fire veil wand, I had more health and defense from my FM slender upgrade or whatever. A level 87 epic enderman with a shelvet. And of course I had the atom split. I gemstoned it as well, which wasn't shown in the last video. And I upgraded my zombie sword to floor. So what could possibly go wrong? So in case you couldn't tell from the video, my issue there was distinctly a lack of defensive capability, specifically in the healing department. Uh, because I would run out of intelligence and also charges from my zombie sword. Which is uh, more commonly known as imminent demise in the business. Which is not good. So, what can I possibly do? I need more mana regen, more mana, more healing, buffed healing from my healing sources, and a little bit of extra damage wouldn't necessarily be bad. But there's no item in the world that could possibly provide me with all of these things. Wait a minute. Yeah, I think an overflux is in order. Uh, okay then. Let's get to work. So. I need an overflux. However, I'm only wolf level 6. I haven't really seen a reason to get to wolf 7 because I never really thought I'd need an overflux, but the time for having an overflux has come. So I gotta get to work, I guess. And yes, I do prefer the castle to the howling caves because there are significantly more spawns and significantly less people, which is an incredibly good combination uh, to have. Actually, I have a wolf pet. What level is it? It's level 1. I did forget, I, if you saw my last video, I mentioned how I sold my wolf pet because it committed the heinous act of having carrot candies. And we can't be allowing that. It's gonna take forever to spawn in, jeez. Look at that, it's a Sven Packmaster. Trying its best. Pretty sure strat for killing this thing is to just lure it into water, but like honestly, who needs water when you have skills? One boss I can say that about at least. 69k XP. So I don't really want to bore you with all the details. Basically, in summary, uh, a wolf was killed. I got Slayer XP. Repeat for a couple hours. Bada bing, bada boom. Wolf Slayer 7 has been obtained. Actually, no, that's a lie. It's I actually only got part way through. I'm not all the way there yet, but I am significantly closer than when I started out, which is the important thing. I could probably hit it by next week. 
when I record the next video, and then I shall hopefully be able to test my skills. Anyways, uh, if you like the video, please be sure to like and subscribe for more commentaries, Slayer, or just me standing around, moving my head in a fancy way and zooming in occasionally. And subscribe. And I shall see you next week. And remember the saying, never meet your <laughs> helmets, <laughs> heroes. Bye.